Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create video to a newspaper effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. So to get started, we're going to drag in our video onto the timeline. And as you can see, we have this video, which is uh, quite long. So let's just trim it down to about, let's uh, do maybe 10 seconds should be good enough. And I'm going to right click on it and click on open infusion page. All right, so let's reset our view over here. And I'm just going to make some room over here in the node tree. So the first thing we will do is let's just unlink the media in and media out. So let's just unlink it like that. And now what you want to do is we're going to go to the frame in the video where we want the freeze frame to take place. So let's go to 200th frame over here. And now right click on the viewer and click on save image and just save it wherever you want. I'm going to save it onto the desktop. Let's call it freeze frame and I'm going to save this as a JPEG file. So click on save and I'll just browse for that file and just simply drag it inside the flow over here so we can also rename our nodes so let's just rename this to screenshot and this one will be our video all right so let's just uh, keep this over here now the next thing you want to do is go to your media pool and i have this image over here of a newspaper front page you can just simply google it up and you can download the front page of any newspaper that you want and then what you're going to do is we want to combine these two so let's uh, merge these two together this will result in a merge node so if we will the merge node you can see that our video is in the foreground which is exactly what we want and then our um, newspaper is in the background but as you can see the resolution is not correct we want this to be 1920 by 1080 and this is 1650 by 3260 so what we can do is if even if we right click on the merge and click on swap inputs then we do have the correct resolution but the video is not in the front we have the newspaper in the front which we don't want so what we can do instead is let's just uh, delete this merge over here for now and we're going to drag in the background node which is the very first node over here just simply drag it onto the flow like so now you can connect up this background we're going to connect it up with the newspaper over here so let's uh, move this video to the side over here and let's bring in our newspaper i'm going to right click on it and also rename this to newspaper like so so let's just uh, join these two together this will result in the merge node and we can just simply view this merge like so just drag it onto the viewer now our background is in the front which we don't want so right click on the merge and click on swap inputs now our background will be uh, behind the newspaper image so now click on the background node and make sure that the alpha slider is all the way down to zero we don't want any kind of background in this and that is how we can bring this newspaper image in the 1920 by 1080 resolution. Now, after you do that, then you can simply merge the video with the merge one over here. Just simply drag it to the merge and this will result in merge two. Now let's view this merge two like so. Just simply drag and drop it on the viewer. And now you can just zoom into this a little bit. Now you can see that our video is in the front. You can also confirm that by reducing the blend amount. You can see that uh, we have our video in the foreground and then in the background we have our image. All right, cool. Now the next thing we want to do is after the video node over here, we're just going to hit your spacebar and type in XF for transform. Click on add. And on this transform node, we're going to just reduce the size and we're going to try and fit it inside this image. So let's just uh, change the position and try and put it in the center like so. And I'm just going to reduce the size even more, something like that. And you can just zoom into this and be precise with this. All right, so I'm just going to increase the size, make sure that it fits within this image. All right, cool. Now what we can do is uh, we can add in a rectangular mask to this 
video node over here so you can just simply go to the top and we have the rectangle mask over here just simply drag it down like so and just connect it up with this video like so all right so now we have a mask on this video footage and now i can just simply stretch it out on the width and just increase the height as well like so and i'm just going to make sure that it is properly centered so i'm going to reduce the width a little bit and just position it properly like that so just keep on playing with the position and the width and the height sliders so that we have this perfectly positioned you can just zoom into this and i can see that there is a small line at the bottom so i'm just going to increase the height a little bit and that should fix it and you can just you know zoom into this and see if everything is correct but i think this is um, great so i can just you know change the position ever so slightly and you know keep on playing with these values but once you're happy with that then you can just go ahead to the next step and the next step is we have to bring in our screenshots so our screenshot is at the top over here uh, and before we do anything else so let's see what we have created so far so if i just go to the very first frame uh, you can just play this animation and you can see we have our video inside this newspaper you can also right click in this area over here and disable high quality and motion blur and that will help with the playback so now we want this screenshot to be on top of this video so let's just uh, drag the output of screenshot and merge it up with the merge 2 over here and this will result in merge 3 and now we can just uh, view this merge 3 like so and uh, you can see that it will occupy the whole 1920 by 1080 frame size so what we can do is we can just copy the transform from the video hit ctrl c or command c if you are on mac copy the transform node and paste it on the screenshot so just highlight the screenshot node and hit command v or ctrl v and then do the same thing with the rectangle as well copy and paste it and just connect it up with the screenshot over here so now our uh, screenshot is at the top and if you play the animation you will see nothing will really happen and that is because we have the still image on the top um, so now what we want to do is we want to play the video first and at 200th frame we want to display our freeze frame or the screenshot that we took earlier so uh, right at the 200th frame just make sure that your time indicator is at that frame and you can also check it right over here it's at the 200th frame i'm going to select my merge 3 node over here and we have the blend option over here the blend slider i'm going to create a keyframe at that uh, 200th frame and then i'm just going to go back to the previous frame which is 199 and what we want to do is we're just going to set the blend to zero so now if you check out this animation we will have a video playing and then it will be followed by the freeze frame so now that we have the video playing and the screenshot as well inside the newspaper we can focus on creating our uh, 3d animation so after the merge 3 we will hit your spacebar and type in image plane 3d after the image plane 3d we will add camera 3d click on add and you'll see that it will automatically add merge 3d as well so let's just leave it there and after the merge 3d we will add in a render 3d and finally we can connect this render 3d with the media out over here all right so now what we can do is if we take a look at renderer 3d so simply drag it onto the view over here you'll see nothing it's empty and that is because our image plane 3d we need to push it back in the z space so let's just do that push it back and we're gonna crop in or zoom into the video footage first so let's just play around with the translation x and translation y so i'm just going to try and position this video footage uh, inside this frame so now i'm just going to zoom into this a little bit yeah that is uh, our video in the frame and now we want to create our animation so i'm going to go to the same frame where we have our screenshot which is uh, at 200 frame and i'm going to create keyframe on translation and rotation so right click and click on animate translate group 
right click in under rotation and click on animate rotate group so now what we can do is we can move um, let's move to 280th frame we can just create any sort of angle to this so let's just zoom out a little and you can just rotate it any way that you want so you can sort of create any angle that you want you can change the position bring it down and uh, you know start revealing the newspaper all right so that is our animation so if we play the video now or play the animation we have our video playing and then we have a freeze frame and then after the freeze frame we will have an animation that will reveal the newspaper so that is essentially it. that's how you can create this effect uh, you can add as many effects as you want so for example after the video node over here we can add in a color correction node and click on add and um, you know just animate it at that same frame so we go to 200 frame and create a keyframe on saturation we set the saturation to zero on this frame and just move back to you know, 10 frames so we can set this to 190 and set the saturation back to one so we'll have a simple fade in the animation and it will fade to uh, black and white and then you know reveal the uh, reveal the newspaper and you can do the same thing with the, the screenshot over here as well so we can just uh, add in a, after the screenshot we can add in a color corrector click on add and we can just uh, simply change the saturation on this we don't want any animation simply change the saturation set that to zero okay so uh that is pretty much it uh, you can then add as many effects on this as you want you can add maybe a highlighter effect to this uh, or you know add in a depth of uh, field effect to this so the possibilities are really endless you can make it as complex as you want but uh, that's the basics of how you can create this video to newspaper effect i hope this video was helpful i hope you learned something new and if it did then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel uh, thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one